This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to connect your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and Joy-Cons to your Apple TV. First, you need to make sure your Apple TV is running tvOS version 16 or later, because that's where this compatibility was added. Go to the Settings app, scroll down to System near the very bottom, and then hit Software Updates. In the bottom left corner of the screen, it should read tvOS 16.0 or something newer. If it doesn't, Hit the Update Software button on the same screen and allow it to download and install the necessary upgrades and updates. Once you have the proper version, go back up two levels in the Settings app, then scroll to Remotes and Devices and click on that. Then scroll down and click on Bluetooth. Here's where we'll connect the controllers. We'll start with the Pro Controller first, then I'll show you the Joy-Cons and how to use them either separately or as a pair. On the Pro Controller, find the little round sync button on the top of the controller near the charging port. Press and hold this for a few seconds until you see the lights on the bottom bouncing back and forth. You should see the name Pro Controller pop up under the Other Devices section on your TV. Scroll down to it and click it, and after a few seconds, you'll be connected. Now onto the Joy-Cons. Pull out the Joy-Con and look on the side that is normally connected to the switch, where the shoulder buttons are. You should see the little round sync button in there. Press and hold it until the lights next to it start flashing. On screen, you should see Joy-Con L or Joy-Con R, depending on which controller you're connecting at that moment. Click on the Joy-Con and within a few seconds it should be connected. If you have two Joy-Cons actively connected to your Apple TV at the same time, then they'll work as two independent controllers, used in the sideways manner like you would on the Switch. However, you can use a left and right Joy-Con as a single set by pressing and holding the screen capture button and the home button on both controllers at the same time for about 3 seconds. You won't see anything appear on screen, or any indication from the controllers, but now you can hold them vertically and use them as a unified controller. If you scroll up to where your connected controller is listed under My Devices, you'll be able to check and set various things such as identifying the controller, disconnecting it so you can use it with your Switch or other devices, and make profiles so you can use different controller layouts with different games or for different people in your family. You can also set these profiles for games and services like Steam Link that support it. Most of these, however, are only available to the Pro Controller and not the Joy-Cons. Now just about every game on the Apple TV has controller support. Some even will only work with a dedicated game controller. Sorry, TV Remote. But you can always check by going to the App Store, finding the game, and looking next to its rating and underneath the description for either the controller supported or required tag. Once you have your controller connected and a game to play, you're all set. One last thing, you can record gameplay on the Apple TV with the Switch controllers. Just press and hold the screen capture button on the controller. You'll be prompted the first time you use it in each app for permission, but afterwards, you'll just press and hold it, and it will start recording the screen, which will be indicated by a red border around the TV. To stop recording, press and hold the button again, and you'll be prompted to airdrop it to another Apple device. No, this isn't clipping, but full-on recording, so you can't just use it when something cool happens. And the airdrop screen will hover over your game without pausing, just be aware of that. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website easyosx.net as well as on our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.